pride, envy, wrath, sloth, greed, gluttony, and lust equals socialism. What are schools, alternative reality generators, and abusive cult indoctrination centers? It is an easy thing for one whose foot is on the outside of calamity to give advice and to rebuke the sufferer. Communism is the philosophy of failure, the creed of ignorance, and the gospel of envy. Under capitalism, you're not guaranteed to have anything. Under socialism, you are guaranteed to have nothing. Under socialism, people pretend to work and the state pretends to pay them. Socialists love poor people so much they have duplicated them by the millions all around the world. You can easily vote your way into socialism, but you must shoot your way out of it. A great nation with a land mass greater than our own, rich in natural resources, 250 million capable people, and for more than 50 years, they have been free to fully implement and put into practice without hindrance or interference all the principles of socialism. And we could be just like them, but it would take a little doing on our part. We'd have to start by cutting our paychecks 80%, move 33 million workers back to the farm, destroy 59 million television sets, tear up 14 out of 15 miles of highway and two-thirds of our railroad track, jump 19 out of 20 automobiles, rip out nine-tenths of our telephones and tear down 70% of our houses. And then all we'd have to do is find a capitalist country that would sell us wheat on credit so we wouldn't starve. You know, I hate to say this, but it's true. We look at a lot of the death and destruction going on in the United States of America today. And unfortunately, the majority of the people doing the killing, doing the robbing, they look like me. Why aren't our leaders, our black leaders, you know, all those leaders that are champions of Black Lives Matter, a movement that did nothing but take money from people so they can use it for their own selfish reasons, a movement that did nothing to help the black community. We're still seeing murder after murder after murder after murder, and if you cared about black lives, you will be sticking up for the black lives that are taken every day. The thousands of black lives that are taken in every year. So can we please wake up black people? Can Black Lives Matter give some of that money that was taken from people, unsuspecting people who thought that they were donating to a good cause? Can we use some of that money or can they use some of that money to help communities in need, to help build or improve schools in the communities in need or build programs for parents? to help them get out of poverty? Can we do that? Or did you spend all the money, Black Lives Matter? They say that politics is the second oldest profession. Sometimes it bears a grave resemblance to the first. Prediction is very difficult, especially about the future. Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. Conformity is doing what everyone else is doing, regardless of what is right. Morality is doing what is right regardless of what everyone else is doing. Questions you cannot answer are usually far better for you than answers you cannot question. Do you like America? Do you like being here in this free land that we're all in? Well, then maybe have a little gratitude to your forefathers. After 15 books and 49 albums, a fan asked me, when do I sleep? I take naps while other people express their opinions. I'm so unpopular. If I went into business building coffins, people would stop dying. <laughs>